Welcome to Into the Pit. If you like my videos, drop me a like below or a subscribe or follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I've included all the links below. Power metal and speed metal. Yeah, difficult. Um, a lot of people think speed metal is more hate than steel. Back in the day, when I first heard this band, I thought of it as speed metal. I didn't think of it as power metal. Um, power metal for me was more bands like at the time, Metal Church, Toronaga, that kind of stuff, Nasty Savage. But um, I guess these days the classification has varied a little bit, but definitely if it is power metal, um, this is definitely one of the most influential, if not the most influential band from coming from Europe, especially Germany. And we're talking about the mighty Halloween and probably my favorite album of theirs, Walls of Jericho. What a wall of sound this album has. It's really, to this day, um, they have not topped this and the Keeper One album, in my opinion. They haven't topped it. They've done some really great albums over the years, but they've also done some lackluster albums. Um, I personally don't think their comeback is as strong now, recently. Um, I still, my hands still wander towards these old albums if I want to listen to Halloween. This has got great tracks on it, Walls of Jericho, the crushing Ride the Sky, really, wow. I mean, the guitars, I haven't heard a band do that since such a, a band that came close was Iron Maiden on Somewhere in Time with this wall of sound uh, really big guitars and but yeah um, great production here by Harris Johns of Voivod fame he's done emulation various bands um, on noise records at the time um, further songs are Reptile Guardians Phantoms of Death Metal Invaders Gorgar Heavy Metal is the Law and How Many Tears the lineup at uh, that point was Kai Hansen on vocals and guitar, Michael Weikert on guitar, Markus Groskopf on drums, Ingo Schwichtenberg on bass. Really cool album. Um, what else do we have here? Um, it was recorded at Music Lab Studio in Berlin. And the album actually appeared... What year? I would like to know. It doesn't say. But it must have been... 85, 86 around there. I'm not quite sure it doesn't state. Maybe on the inside. Let's have a look. Uh, this comes with the classic Noise Records catalog. There you have all the bands that were coming out on Noise Records at the time. Creator, Overkill, Coroner, Running Wild, of course. So uh, we're still known the wiser as to the date. Now yeah, you will have to look that up online. But yeah, um, a crushing debut album, huge guitars, huge sound, and um, I think anthems that have stood the test of time, if you ask me, in this kind of genre of music, definitely. So if you're a Halloween fan and you haven't checked this out yet, which I doubt, then please do so.